Hi, you have a presentation to make and I'd like to see a video. If you can, I think it's ideal to include a video of yourself uh, talking in the picture, but you don't have to do that. But I am expecting to see some sort of slides uh, that you'll be talking uh, to. Now, I don't tell you how to do this because there's any number of ways to do it and I can't tell what's going to work on your computer and your software. So um, you need to get busy and make sure you know how to do it. Also, you'll need to uh, upload it. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So first of all, how do I go about doing this and then creating this? What I don't want, really, is just a list of all the assignments and the required steps. Here is my charter. Here is my work breakdown structure. Here is my cause and effect diagram. Weave them into a story. So. Uh, I want you to tell a story. And a story basically starts with some sort of problem or action or incident, moves through some sort of transformation and ends up with improvement. Essentially, you have a problem at first and you transform into a better world, hopefully a better person, uh, certainly better work. So I want you to tell a story. As you're doing it, start strong. I've, I've got a couple of clips here of some of the, what are my favorite uh, beginning scenes of movies in the Raiders of the Lost Ark and Star Wars Episode IV, uh, the Star Destroyer scene. Powerful beginnings uh, to the movie. Now, you don't have to make suspense. and I don't want you to use actual movie sort of uh, scenes, but I want you to portray the problem that you're improving in a powerful way. Um, so some tips. Don't read your slides. We read two to four times faster silently than we do um, just uh, talking. And so people get bored in listening to you read. Um, few words are better than many. Uh, if we just have, if we have a lot of words, we'll tend to read them. And if we have a few words, we'll, we'll tend to talk. Here's an example of a I, what I think is an outstanding presentation example, which was Steve Jobs uh, introducing the first iPhone back in 2007. As you go through this, quite often there, there are almost no words, sometimes only icons or photos on the screen. Here's an example of many words, and there's a couple of problems here. I'm not going to, I would read this just to make you feel bad, but uh, I'm not going to. Um, if you have this many words, you're almost for sure going to read them. And so don't do that. Uh, using small words turns them into eye charts because the font gets smaller. And uh, at least us older readers don't appreciate uh, being reminded that our eyes are not as good as they used to. Uh, reading the slides forces you to turn away from your audience. Quite often the slides are actually behind you. And so you turn to read the slides and you've broken eye contact and muffled your voice. So don't do that. Few words are better than many. Here's many reading, and, and, and this one uh, ironically is giving a good presentation, and it's an eye chart, versus few. And this is actually one of the, the, the uh, there are more words here on this slide than almost any Steve Jobs slides that you'll see. But notice on each line, there's no more than three words. No more than three words on a line. Uh, six lines, that's, that's actually right, right at the maximum that you should do, um, uh, but it works. Then, when you get through, post and link. Do not send me a massive file. For one thing, I may not be able to open it. Two, you may not be able to send it, and then I get these, well, I tried, Dr. Bullington, but I couldn't, I couldn't, it, it just, it just wouldn't work. The file's too big. Well, um, you may have to do something to change the file. There is a software program I didn't put a, uh, on here, but it's called Handbrake, H-A-N-D-B-R-A-K-E. If you look that up online, there's a free version, and um, it will convert files into smaller formats if you have problems and need to do that. But that's up to you, and that's a part of the course, is you figuring out with your system how you can uh, communicate a, a video in a way that someone can actually open it without it bogging down their system. And then finally, uh, finish strong. 
uh, you, you've been telling the story throughout. You've shown how the improvement efforts that you've made have, have resulted in a better world. And, and you want to end strong. Try not to end with, this is the end. Um, or even, are there questions? But try to end more powerfully than that. So uh, that's, a, that's a challenge to you. Hope this helps. And um, as, uh, as Woody would say, bye.